Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Super here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to build terrain in Roblox Studio, which is a really awesome feature to use. Think of it as making a Minecraft world, but inside Roblox Studio. So basically, you're going to find the terrain editor tool inside the home section near the top. The, this bar should show up there. Anyways, you go ahead and click on that, and it should open up the terrain editor. And there's three different sections to go to, create, region, and edit. But anyways, I'm going to go over just some of the basic things. I'm not going to go over everything. But anyways, let's go ahead and click the generate button, which will let us generate our own little terrain map, basically. And you can see this whole like blue box. That's where the terrain is going to generate in. You can set the size of how big the map's going to be and the position of where it's going to be. And then you can pick what kind of biomes, materials you want to be in the map. Water, plains, dunes, mountains, arctic, marsh, hills, cannons, and lava scape. And then you can choose the biome size. I'm going to increase it a little bit. And then you can have caves enabled if you want as well, which you can just go underground basically under the map. And you can even choose a seed. Anyways, once you're done, you can go ahead and just click generate. And then it will start generating the terrain. And this completely feels like Minecraft, like the options you have and everything. And it's kind of funny, but it's a really cool feature. And as you can see, it's creating my map and it's really unique. Every single time you create a map, it's always a bit different or anything. Yeah, making terrain maps is really simple and really efficient when just trying to get a base thing for your games is having a map or anything. This makes it really simple. So the map turned out pretty nice. I think it could have been better though. But you know, you got some little rocks here, then you have a lot of dirt and grass and all that. Uh, but yeah, basically, like I said, the blue box is where the train uh, generates in. And then I still have my base plate. I had to delete that. I just realized I still had it. But anyways, it generates caves if you have that enabled, which are really cool. And you can go exploring basically if you want to. And if you don't like this map, you can just click the generate button again. I'm going to change a couple things. I'm going to be adding the marsh biomes in there and then i'm going to change the seed to whatever i want and just try it again to see if it looks better but basically if you just want to redo the map and get a brand new one and see if you can get a better looking one just click generate again or mess with the settings or whatever you want to do and it will just completely replace the one map you just made so as you can see here it's completely replacing it and i'm gonna say this map does look a lot better than the first one and now, as you can see on this map, we have sand, grass, and we have actually like mountains, not just hills, but mountains as well. And some little lakes and ponds, which makes it look really nice. And I liked how this map turned out, but basically it's super easy to do. And it basically does all the work for you. And this can be really useful when making your games, especially when you're first starting to use Roblox Studio, this can be really useful. And basically that's how you generate the maps. And if you want to just completely get rid of it, just clear terrain and then once confirmations, just clear it. And that's how you get rid of that. But anyways, I'm gonna show you some other things too, which you can go to edit and go to add, where you can just build the map yourself if you want to piece by piece. I know this would take way longer. And uh, personally, I wouldn't do it this way, but if you want to just build your own map, basically you can do it like this and you can choose the shape of what you want the the terrain brush the bee and then you can make the base size of how big the you know the material is going to apply to whatever and uh basically i'm going to be making a map from scratch by doing this so this is like a ball brush and then you just choose a material and then just start putting it down like that which makes it really easy and you can just build a little map from there and you can change the brush setting to like a square which i would probably i don't know i might prefer this one more but this one is pretty nice and it's just really easy to do you can make the base size bigger so it doesn't take as long but then you can try other materials out as well i'm going to be trying the sand or limestone then you apply that down and you know you want to change it up a little bit and it does look pretty nice but it is kind of hard to keep it all on the same level so you know whatever you want to do and then there's water there's lava you know snow all those kind of materials you have a lot of different ones you can play with and all that and then there's another tool you can use in here which is a grow tool which basically you can just grow a material and make it get larger basically and there's also a uh, erode or whatever which is the opposite where you can like subtract the material and make it smaller and decrease it or whatever 
But anyways, you can just build it up like this and you can make really cool, interesting terrain by doing it like that with the grow tool. But basically it just grows whatever material you land the brush on. But yeah, it's really cool and it's a really useful feature. And uh, I highly suggest that you guys try out the terrain tools and all that. You can do a lot of interesting things by doing this. But that's basically how you build terrain on Roblox Studio. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe and like this video. Until next time, goodbye.